Howdy folks and welcome back to Chuck of Steel. Sorry about the last three or four weeks guys. I just haven't had time to shoot so haven't done any videos. But I got a couple of frames that's been on order and I was hoping they would show up today but they didn't. But I do have a new frame here that's new to me that I want to show you that I think is really awesome. And it was sent to me by a good friend named Manny. This is a custom Micarta Cygnus. Now it is a uh, 100% of Cygnus is just a little bit smaller than the regular Cygnus. It has the original fork width, but the dimensions are a little bit smaller, so it gives you more of a tucked in feeling than the other one. I think I have, yeah, I have it right here on my side. This is the Cygnus that I have right here. This is the Micarta one. Andre did a great job on it, but, uh, Manny sent it over to me and I sent him some frames, so we kind of horse traded on it. But I want to get out here and shoot it today because I haven't shot it yet. I have a, a little bit larger of a pouch than I normally shoot. I'm going to try that out. I normally shoot a 48 mil. I think it's whatever it is. It's a 48. This one is a 52. I think that goes by millimeters. I think it's 48 millimeters long. This one happens to be 52 millimeters. It's just a little bit bigger than what I normally shoot. I'm going to try that and see how it works out for me. Have a 40 millimeter spinner set up down there. 9.5 for 3.8 steel. And let's just shoot this little Cygnus right here. And see how it works out. Beautiful little frame. So uh, let's get to it. I haven't shot any. So probably going to miss a lot, but let's do it. Got a hit. It was uh, 100 degrees two days ago, literally 100 degrees. But the last two days, it's been 48 degrees. It's like 52 degrees right now. So I'm wearing a jacket and stuff. It's really chilly. It's been raining all day. Wind's blowing. Just not a very good day, but I had to shoot this thing. I, got, I think I got it in the mail last Tuesday. <laughs> I've been dying to shoot it. One thing I have noticed about this one from my my sickness that I ordered, this one has slanted tips, but not not nowhere near as much. Just a slight little slant to them, and the corners right here are rounded off. I like how the corners are rounded off. Guys, this design right here is probably my all-time favorite uh, design, custom-wise. Uh, matter of fact, it'd be between that uh, this one right here and uh, the one that Andre Bullblack made me from Ukraine. They're my two all-time favorite customs. So having this little bit smaller version is pretty neat. It keeps your fingers really, really tucked in there Ooh, missed to the left this pouch ain't bad uh, Adam sent this from me from slingshot fever he sent me a couple of them larger pouches because I had never tried them And I'm liking it so far. Feels pretty good. That's a 40 millimeter wall spinner. And I'm liking this slingshot. It's doing great. I mean, I haven't shot at all since that last video I've done. So, I mean, can't complain there. I think I've missed one.
Barely nicked it. Barely nicked it. See if I can correct that. Yeah. All right, so uh, we pause the camera, and I think I have a. Yeah, I have this little little hog here. We'll go over and set it up on one of those poles, and we'll shoot it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, the wind let me. I got the hog set up. It's about 30 millimeters tall and about 45 millimeters long. And uh, it's exactly 20 yards from here. Have these bands cut a little longer than normal because my shoulders were acting up on me a little bit this week. So I didn't want to aggravate them too much. Let's see if I can get a shot off on that hog there. There we go, wind. Got it. This is Cygnus from Prime Port Catapults. He follows the camera and set him up somewhere else. Now, right, guys, I wanted to show you all this before I took it out further. That is a perfect heart shot. That's just awesome. Let me set it up further away. All right, I got the bore set back up. Manny, I can't thank you enough for the frame, brother. I'm loving it. Adam, I appreciate the pouches, brother. Uh, they're exactly like the ones I normally shoot. They're just a little bit bigger. And I think I might actually like these more. It's just going to take more shooting to find out. I have that bore set up down there. Uh, I intentionally didn't walk it off or measure it. That way I would have to guess at it. So take a couple shots at him. He looks to be about 30 yards. I would say 30 yards at least. So uh, let's take a shot at him and see what happens here. I think I hit the post underneath him. Let me pause the camera. Yeah, guys, I hit the post right underneath him. I forgot about these bands being cut a little long. I'm just going to have to aim higher, that's all. I just forgot to aim higher, so let's do that and see what happens here. Got him. Pause the camera and go get it. Yeah, guys, I hit him a little low on the belly, but I still got him. It's a good hit. His body is only about 25 millimeters tall. He's about 30 millimeters tall altogether. But uh, still a good shot. Let me put him back a little further and see if I can get a shot on him. All right, guys, I got him set back up. This time he's about 40 yards away. Uh, let's see if we can get a hit on him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Cygnus, let me go get him and see where I hit him at. Well, guys, I hit it right there in the tail end, but you know I'll take that because that was the first shots ever with this Cygnus made from Micarta. I love this frame. I love the design. I shoot this design really well, and there's something to be said about that. So if you shoot a design really well, then shoot it a lot. If you would, please subscribe, like, comment, share the videos, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.